hello everyone welcome back to my channel once again today i'm so glad to be with you guys today once again and in today's tutorial we are going to focus on this peplon you are seeing right here on the screen looking at this peplon is being attached to this is actually a gown as you are seeing on the screen they have scale bodies it's attached to the skirt part of this with this beautiful peplon okay so to achieve this peplon flay you are seeing in here we are going to manipulate our pattern to get exactly what we have on the screen okay so i want you to pay attention to this tutorial to see how you can achieve this peplum perfectly without cutting your 180 degrees flay or your 360 of course using a 360 or 180 degrees is going to be too much in there so we are going to use our pattern right now to construct this particular peplum so if you are new to this channel please kindly subscribe turn on your notification bell to receive videos like this each week like this video share to family and friends drop your comments on the comment sections and your suggestion as well okay so we are going to jump into this tutorial right away and you are going to see how this peplon is being created all right people so to start this tutorial we need to understand something very important okay if you look at that uh, peplon we are about to construct right now you can see it's sitting on is a gown okay the peplon is a gown you your your the half scale and the skirt part of the of the gown is fused together as one piece making it a full gown then the peplon is being attached in between it so right now this peplon is going to be created on the skirt part of this gown so um, I've already wrote my border line as you can see and this line I have in here is serving as my waistline. So right now my waistline is where I'm going to attach my half scale bodies and attach my skirt, skirt part to form my full gown. Okay, so now I'm going to make use of this border line in here to serve as my center front. So this is going to be my center front line. So I have it as my center front, as you can see. That is my center front for my skirt part. So this center front for my skirt part right now, I want to take the measurement of my vertical measurement of the area we are going to create this peplon on our skirt. So this block you are seeing in here is my skirt block. This is my center front for my skirt block for the front. The peplon is only they constructed on the front parts and attached to the sides of that gown so now my half length in here is 17 inches so i'm going to take my measurement of 17 inches you can see where i'm placing my tape remember my half scale body is from shoulder to half length or to waist is 17. then i'll continue to fuse my skirt part to my the same 17 inches i believe you understand that so that is why i have my tape at 17 inches and i have my hip measurement as 29 inches this is my hip measurement from shoulder to waist is 17 and from shoulder to hip is 29 so these are the vertical measurements i need in here for this so i'm going to rule a, a line to it as you can see okay so still remember that this is our center front and all measurements are going to be taken from the center front. So the next thing I want to do is to take the measurement of my waist. My waist is 39 and this is 39, okay? So my waist where I'm going to fuse, that is my half length is 39, where I'm going to fuse this skirt part and the peplon together with my half scale bodies is 36 inches divided by 4 because we are working on a quarter of this peplon okay if you look at this peplon part you can see we have it on the left we have it on the right okay so now i make my mark for my waist and i'll come over to my hip measurements my hip is 46 divided by 4 is 11 and a half so i make a mark of a quarter of that so I'm going to connect all the way from the waist to my hip right now, as you can see, using my hip curve, okay? 
so i'm connecting from this point of my quarter of my waist to the point of the quarter of my hip you can see i have my block my skirt block right now my skirt block from the waist to the hip that is what i have here this skirt is going to be fused to the half scale body so your measurement has to be taken from where you have your half scale measurement to your hips so that means you need to take all your vertical measurements for your gown from your shoulder to your waist to the to the hip so whatever thing you have in here you fuse it in exactly as we have done right now so the next thing is i want to take the measurement this is my hip and this is my waist where will my peplum stop i just want to my peplum to stop at three inches above my hip this is my hip. My peplum is not going to get up to the hip. If you look at the, that picture, you can see the peplum is hanging. It is not up to the hip line. So I will go up by 3 inches for my peplum. So I've made a mark of 3 inches. From my hip, I came up by 3 inches. So this is going to serve as the line of my peplum. Can you see? So that means I am not going to make use of this. The hip help me to determine where my peplum is going to sit so the next thing i'm going to do right now i'm going to start creating this peplum right into this block and you are going to see how we are going to achieve that all right people so now i'm changing my marker so we can start creating exactly the peplum we have in there on the picture so the first thing I'm going to do from the length of my peplum I'm coming in by one inch and I'm going to connect this one inch line back to the center front on the waistline this is my waistline and this is my center front I came in by one inch as it is in the picture and I drew my line you can see that's why I'm changing my marker for it okay so now that I've ruled my line the next thing I want to do so I'm going to take my measurement right now. That's the next thing I'm going to do. This is my waistline. Remember all my waist is 9 inches. I'm going to divide what I have by 2. This is what I have, half of my waist. Okay. So from half of my waist, I'm going to measure 1.5 from that point. Okay. So this is my 1.5 line. Now, from this 1.5 line, I'm going to step down, okay? Remember, I have 9 inches all together, and I need the upper peplum to be at 6 inches. You can even make it 5 or 5.5, five okay? So, but for the purpose of this tutorial, I'll make a mark of 3 inches. That is, I'm coming up by 3 inches once again, okay? So, at this point of 3 inches right now, I'm going to connect. Okay, I'm going to connect with a straight line. Okay, I'm connecting with a straight line. From this point, I have a straight line. I'll just use my broken line for this to that point. From here to here. You know how we got this, our hip divide. This is the midpoint of my waist. And I added 1.5 inches coming this way, okay, to increase that part. Okay, so now from this point of 6 inches, I'm going to come out by 1 inch once again. So once I come out by 1 inch, I'm going to connect from this point to this point at 1 inch. Can you see? So now, having done that, the next thing I'm going to do right now, I'm going to create that curvy effect on the peplum. Exactly what you see on the picture. That is exactly what I'm doing in here. So with my curve ruler, I believe you are seeing what I'm doing. I'm just going to create that slight curve in it. Can you see? So you can see I've created that curve, okay? Once I create this line, I'll come over to the hip line and I'm going to come up from the hip line from where my peplum is going to stop. Remember, this is the length, the length of our peplum, this line. So I'm going to come up from that line by one inch. This is my mark of one inch. And I'm going to place my curve ruler this way to create that curve. If you look at that peplum, you can see it's not straight. It's created like this. So you see the curve right now. Now I'm going to place my ruler 
once again on this part to complete the curve can you see so i just want to get the curve accurately as you can see okay all right so i have something like this just to create a little curve to it as it is on that picture okay all right beautiful people so right now you can see i've created exactly what i have okay on that picture if you look at it critically is actually looking exactly like what we have in the picture so i just want to blend this line so they match up together okay all right so i'm no longer making use of this okay all right so this is exactly what we have on that peplum and i'm going to cut it out right now so this is actually a creative peplum so this peplum as you are going to see it right now after manipulating it is going to sit exactly on the on the gown the way you see it okay okay but before we cut out okay i'm not supposed to cut out right now okay so that's why i stopped i need to trace out okay i want to show you how you are going to trace it out and achieve a perfect result okay so maybe i'll keep it like this for you to see what i'm doing so the first thing i'm going to do this is my pattern pepper can you see that i have my pattern pepper in here so but before i trace what i have in here i'm going to number all of this i'm numbering this as one this is two okay so the first layer is one the second layer is two so i'm going to place my my tracing paper okay this is my tracing paper and i'll secure my tracing paper i'm securing it with my seal tape so it does not wobble okay because we don't need this to wobble so i'm placing it in a way it's going to cover it's going to have a full coverage of one because our interest is in tracing pattern one right now okay so i'm tracing out pattern one as i have written it so pattern one just watch what i'm doing as i'm tracing just the looking at where and where i'm going to trace wherever i trace that is my one okay so i believe you are seeing what i'm doing here so i'm using my blue marker right now i'm going to trace from my waist to where we have the peplum okay so now okay so you can see my line that is the edge of the pattern one from here to here i'm going to rule my waistline completely then i'm going to rule this other line can you see that is my one okay so i'm going to complete my pattern one that is using my ruler and creating the same curve we had this same curve we had at this point to this point and right now i'm done with my pattern one so i'm going to write on my tracing paper one so once i do that i'm going to take away my tracing paper right away so the this particular line you have in here has a relationship between one one and two so since it has a relationship it is being attached two of them shares the same line that is one and two shares this line i'm going to pick up this line i mark like this and i'm going to place it exactly if you look look at this well you can see the red line is reflecting and i'll make sure i match up the blue line on the red line exactly okay can you see that so i've done that and the next thing i want to do is to secure with my tape okay so it does not shift the line so this particular line in here is the relationship between uh, one one and two 
and that is where we have that center front folding okay of course you are going to see how we are going to do this at the end of the day okay so now i've held my my tracing paper so it does not move up and down so the next thing i want to do is to continue my tracing so i'm tracing two right now this is two and i want you to watch as i trace two the whole of this part i'm tracing right now is two okay so the two right now i'm completing it with this curve so i'll be placing my curve make sure your paper does not wobble so i'm going to place my can you see all right so i'm going to take off my tracing paper right now and this is my two so once i take off my tracing paper i'm taking off my pattern right now this is the new pattern we have for our pet one okay so i'm actually going to cut off this new pattern we have for our peplum right now and i'm going to transfer it to my paper once again so we can slash and spread and have that beautiful peplum look on the picture okay so i'm cutting around what i just traced right now I'm cutting around it like this. All right. So this is what I have right now. This is what I have for one. And this is what I have for two. So once I, I fold it at this edge, once I fold it at this edge right now, can you see? This is what I have right now. I believe you are seeing it. So you can see the shape of that peplum we have on the screen is out there. Okay? So I might decide to trace out. I might decide to continue my slash and spread. But if you are seeing what I'm doing well in here very well, this is number one and this is number two. This is our waistline. Okay? So this is the waistline. And this is the peplum itself so this peplum is going to be attached i'm going to cut two times of it because i have one this way i have the other one here okay so but before we do that let me quickly slash and spread here i'm going to slash and spread here so for me to slash and spread to add more fullness to my peplum i'm going to slash on this part okay so i want you to watch Following this line I have in here, I'm going to, you can see, I'm going to cut out and add more inches to it, okay? So I'm going to pick up my paper right now. And I'll be placing my paper in between, okay? So I'll be able to slash and spread. So uh, you can see what I just did here. I didn't cut off the waistline. The waist remains the same. The waistline remains the same. We are not tampering with the waist because the waist has already been calculated as 9 inches. So if I have to take my measurement from here to here, you can still see I still have my 9 inches waist measurement. So all I'm going to slash right now is this part. Let me use a brown paper so you can see my slash and spread. Very appropriately so i'll just put in my brown pepper i think the white pepper is too you know okay so i'm going to slash as much as i can but looking at what we have there it was not slashed so much okay we don't have too much effect on that part so right now i'm keeping this part this part i'm keeping it straight as you can see okay so you can see how i held it on that waistline all right people so right now you can see i'm not tampering with the, the where i cut on my waistline so i just hold it with my tape so I'm going to keep this part straight and slash this part, okay? So this is the part that is being slashed. 
so i'm going to take my measurement of five inches to slash and spread okay so five inches is just okay because there's no much peplum on that part so i'll be keeping this other part at exactly five inches as you can see and i'm going to tape it down for my slash and spread so you can see the point of five inches that is where i'm keeping this line so i'm done slashing and spreading right now so i'll just hold on to my pepper so it does not move so i'm going to hold them down as you can see all right so i'm going to cut this is the right time to cut but before i cut i'm going to blend my line with my hip curve or any other curve ruler i need to blend from here to here to match up with what we have already on our pattern so this pattern created right now is the peplum you are seeing on the screen so once this is cut on the fabric right now you see the effect coming out exactly as it is on the screen okay so i'm cutting off the ss pepper for my slash and spread all right this is what we have people this is actually going to look very beautiful once it's been attached okay so this is it and this is the part that went in like this okay all right so i'm going to cut two times of this and add my seam allowances all around this part is the side front is going to be attached to the side of that gown and this is the center front you can see the center front is on fold okay we have that fold of that peplum this way so once i'm going to cut i'm going to cut spreading everything this way on my on my fabric and i'll make a notch here make a notch here on my fabric so i'll be able to know when to lift it up like this okay so i'm cutting two times of this one on the right one on the left and i'm going to fuse them to the upper part of my of my gown that is the half scale bodies why this falls on the skirt part okay so i believe you understand this tutorial and if you love this content please kindly subscribe turn on your notification bell to receive videos like this each week like this video share to family and friends drop your your comments on the on the description box below and your suggestions as well okay i'll be dropping the link to our whatsapp group where you can learn more on paper illustrations and sewing innovations please click on the link to join the whatsapp wonderful whatsapp group so you can learn more on our tutorial so thank you very much for coming to this tutorial once again see you in my next video bye